vertically opposite angles. So now let's see what are vertically opposite angles. For understanding vertically opposite angles, let's see the working of a pair of scissors. In a pair of scissors, these two are the cutting arms and these two are the handles. What do you do if you want to open the cutting arms or increase this angle? We do not touch the cutting arms directly. Instead, we open the handles or increase this angle. Vice versa, if we want to close the cutting arms or decrease this angle, then we close the handles or decrease the angle between the handles. So what is happening here is that angle between the cutting arms that means this angle always remains equal to the angle between the handles that means this angle. Such type of angles are called as vertically opposite angles and they are always equal. Let's see some important properties of vertically opposite angles. First important property is they have a common vertex. So here we can see that this point O is the common vertex. They don't have any common arms. So, in a pair of vertically opposite angles, no pair of common arms. And two pairs of their arms form a straight line. So, arm CO and OD form a straight line. This is the first pair and arm AO and OB also form a straight line, this is the second pair. So such a pair of opposite angles is called vertically opposite angles. We can easily see these angles are opposite to each other, that is why they are called vertically opposite angles. We have a pair of intersecting lines here and you have to tell me how many pairs of vertically opposite angles can we have here. Let's see. So this is one pair and this the second. So we can have two pairs of vertically opposite angles here. One interesting question for you. Does this pair of angles form a pair of vertically opposite angles? No, definitely no. Because these angles do not have a common vertex, so they can't be a pair of vertically opposite angles. One more question for you. Does this pair of angles form vertically opposite angles? No, definitely no. Even though they have a common vertex, their opposite arms do not form a straight line. So arm AO and OC do not form a straight line. So even though AO and OD form a straight line, but this pair here does not form a straight line. Let's do a problem. This is a challenge for you. Here we have a ray diagram of refraction of light. This is the normal, this is the incident ray and this is the refracted ray. We have to identify a pair of vertically opposite angles here. So pair of vertically opposite angles will be this angle and this whole angle. Why? Because they have a common vertex, they don't have any common arms. And this line and this line form a straight line. Similarly, this line and this line also forms a straight line. Next part of the question is, we have to find the value of R. So here we have to find the value of R. Let's solve this. We know vertically opposite angles are equal and this angle is equal to 30 degrees. So this complete angle will also be 30 degrees. So from the figure, we can see that R plus D is equal to 30 degrees. This implies 
R plus D, D is given to be 10 degrees, is equal to 30 degrees. So this implies R is equal to 30 degrees minus 10 degrees. So this implies R is equal to 20 degrees. So the value of R here is 20 degrees.